Hello everyone, Agent Gold here, and welcome back to Let's Play Shantae and the Pirate's Curse. I've looked over my notes and there's only one thing I have on there that I can get before going back to Scuttletown, and it's actually an easter egg that a friend of mine tipped me off to. He didn't tell me exactly where to find it, but he gave me a general idea, so let's see what we can find. It's right through here. Oh, hey, these candles can be broken. Did I find it? Whoa. The music sounds sort of 8 bit, the background is frozen. Oh, my gosh. Am I in a level from the original Shantae? Oh, this is cool. Okay, let's see where I can go and what we can find in here. Yeah, this music is definitely from that game, but unfortunately that's one that I have not played all the way through, so I don't completely know where I am. Oh boy, that grate in the background. I know that you could use a transformation to climb on it, but I don't have any transformations now. Oh wow, is this place just like a bonus dungeon? This is awesome! Oh, that's not awesome! Um... Well, let's check down first. Something changed. Background looks different again. There's no way that this is all of the dungeons from the first game, is there? I know I fought some of these things, but I don't remember exactly how I beat them. <laughs> that works. Yeah, when I was told that there was an Easter egg to be found, um, I was told that uh, I will find it, and then I will wonder how that was considered to be hidden. And sure enough, it was the first thing I noticed when I walked in here, now that I have the upgrade that I need for it. Gosh, this may end up being an entire episode by itself, won't it? This is a slow method, but at least he's not blocking my attacks. Okay. So now that those are taken care of... You know what I haven't thought to do yet? I haven't checked my map. That's weird. I don't seem to be anywhere on the map. Oh, I see, because I'm in an area that's not in the map for the... for the Spittle Maze. This might be relevant. <laughs> I am someone who cannot leave items ungathered. So a fish, a snail, and a squid from top to bottom. Oh boy. Yep, there's keys in here. So this is gonna be like a full-fledged dungeon. There's something nearby, but I don't see what it might be. Hmm, I had enough momentum to get running there. Should I try hitting that wall? Let's not take any chances. Okay. 
Just because I know stuff can fall from those walls. Before I use the key, let's check upward and see what else we can find. Another of these. I don't seem to have to fight him. So let's, yeah, just ignore him for now. It's a little bit of a hassle to get through those guys. Okay. Now this is a little suspicious. Okay. Maybe not. Looked like a spot I could maybe th fall through. I just wonder what I'm going to find at the end of this place. Oh ho, that's crafty. This looks optional, so let's go in here first. Oops! I thought I was getting a signal that I could fall through there, but I guess not. Okay. Yeah, I'm back at the start now. Um, oh, I see. That's where I was when I was on that side of the room. I thought it was a place I could see but hadn't gotten to yet. Uh, now I just feel like that jar is teasing me, being out of reach like that. kind of nice. I know where I was, so it's not too tough to get back here. So... Funny that the background's not animating at all, because I'm pretty sure in Game Boy Shantae it was able to. Like, that was one of the cool things that the animation and the graphics look so nice, but I could be remembering that wrong. these guys. Sort of want to be him on the off chance that it will make something appear. Oh, this feels totally safe. Okay, nothing special. few jars here. Oh. Wait, what was the other thing I got there? Was it a super pike? It was a pirate flare, wasn't it? Okay. So I got a few cool things down here. Huh. And it just pushes me back out then. Huh. All right. I guess it's just a little mini dungeon. How odd. Well, I hope I didn't miss anything down there. But that was pretty cool to see. Anyway, everything that I can gather now is back in Scuttletown, so let's head back that way. See some changes have come to completion since we've been gone. <laughs> oh gosh. Yeah, I don't think he should be a uh, loot tenant of anything. <laughs> them. Um. Um. That's a creative child, at least. Let's talk to everyone in Skettletown before I move on.
Um, you've got a clever imagination too. You know that, don't you? Ice cliffs, eh? I know that the next place looks like it'll be cold, so that might be handy to know. <laughs> oh, it's you. actually have to help him to move on. Well, I have a feeling the lost soul that I have belongs to Joe, so since we're right here, why don't we ask about that? I guess she's not interested in this. I could be wrong, but I have a feeling it's his. <laughs> okay. Uh, I will talk to Bolo and Mimic, but first let's stop in the shop. I've got a bunch of money at this point. Some of it thanks to that bonus dungeon, but... Um... Do I buy upgrades first, or do I stock up on healing items? I better get a few healing items, because I have been going through them pretty quickly. So let's, instead of three, let's get six of these this time. The three didn't last as long as I thought they would on that last island. I'm, it may only get tougher from here. Uh, so what upgrades do I want? Uh, I love hair upgrades, so let's go ahead and get stronger and faster there. I have been using the pistol a lot, so let's tune that up, too. And from there I need more money, which I should have something that the mayor wants, so we can go talk to him. But if I remember right, there's this pit over here. Not over here, but I found something else instead. What did I find? I just broke through here and there's nothing here. Oh! I have to crouch for it? What is this? I don't know what I just found. Anyway. Okay, yeah, we'll talk to him first. Super monster milks? Hey, those are mine! Okay, you can have a few. Okay, the things that you trade them do have different values. That's good. What? How long is that pit? What the heck's on the other side of it? Okay, same thing. I only have one more in my inventory. I think I'd rather hold on to it. So I do have enough gems that I could upgrade one more thing at the shop. Um... You know what? Let's go ahead and upgrade the pistol one more time, since I'm using that more than anything. Aha! It's at full power. Uh, right, Bolo and Mimic. Or just Mimic. Where's Bolo? He's looking to help Shantae get her magic back. So that's what it was all about. But pumping dark magic into a tinker bed, is that really the best idea? 
So, I'm looking for a few things, and I'm pretty sure they're all off in this direction. Let's see how fast we can get there now. <laughs> oh man, this feels like... This feels like using Super Sonic in a classic Sonic game. Wow, it looks like I have no problem with collecting things that bad guys drop when I'm running full speed. So let's see, anything hidden in this wall over here? First, let's get up the momentum. Oh, oh, walking on a slope um, upward takes away your momentum. That's good to know. Oh, nice, nice! So I can literally just run right through to this place. That's pretty awesome. Hey, don't I know you? Um, so these two who we met at the, uh, the spit pool are fans of who this guy turns into, and he's gonna do a transformation sequence? This should be curious. Are they buying this? <laughs> I am getting a definite He-Man vibe here. I should mention that I've never actually watched the show, so I'm sure there are references here, but I don't know what they are. Except that one. I know there's a gray skull somewhere. Come on, Jante, you're not that bad. Ew. Uh, wait a minute. See, I thought they might have been dressed to celebrate this guy, or, but I guess it was for the Ammo Baron's army. So... That was weird. Very weird. Okay, um, let's peek in here. I'm gonna bet that these guys all just say the same old thing. But it never hurts to check. I have room to get running in here. That makes me wonder. Mm. Nothing there. Okay. So before we go back to Scuttletown... Um, I, I do want to find Bolo wherever he got off to. I haven't gotten an actual clue about that yet. And I know that there's a block or two in this sewer that I might be able to break by running into it, and I might not. So let's check that. Actually, let's check how powerful my pistol is. Awesome. It's as strong as my original hair whip. 
funny though, I thought I just bought three upgrades for it. Or did I buy two? I don't remember. Yeah, it was three upgrades, wasn't it? Okay, that looks like something I can break. But it doesn't look like I have enough room right here to break it. That doesn't mean I can't break through some of these walls. Remember way back at the beginning when I saw a couple of stone walls that I could... Aha! I saw a couple of stone walls that I thought I was going to be able to break through, but I didn't uh, actually have to break them, I just had to move them. Uh, having the boots upgrade and rushing through walls like that just totally makes up for it. I believe there's one more cackle bat on this island. And I believe there's a heart squid in a high place in the forest, too, now that I think about it. Can I reach that by getting a running start? I just kind of dashed right through the forest last time, which felt great. But let's see if uh, I can get a running start and jump at it or something. Where exactly is it? Huh. I thought that uh, one hit from rushing with the sword would be enough to take care of those guys. Okay, there it is up there. Let's see if I can get running up here or not. If I can't get this by running, I'm going to assume that there might be one more upgrade that will help me to get things in high places. This does not look like enough room. Nope. Okay. So there's probably one thing I'm missing. So we'll just go the quick way back. Okay, so, yeah, looks like these two came back. So, I'm at a little bit of a loss right now. I don't know exactly where Bolo got off to. I haven't spoken to anyone who's given me a clue about him. Can't expect too much help from just shopkeepers. Uh, oh! I know one thing that I ought to do. I have heart squids. This should feel pretty good. Do it again. So my health bar is extended down to the next line. That's pretty cool. Um, how many hearts did I start with? I started with two, didn't I? And I know that there are 32 heart squids out there, so I'll end up with 10 hearts by the end of it. So you seriously don't have a clue for me on where Bolo is or what I can do with this lost soul? Well, I guess I'll have to figure that out on my own then. Um, I will put some thought into that, but for now, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. <laughs>